Today, I'd like to talk about the backdoor cut. What I mean by the backdoor cut is, just say in basketball, you know, if your man is out of position and you get your point guard the eye, you can make a move toward the ball, but then hit him with the backdoor cut. Often for a layup or an assist to the big man waiting on the opposite side. And that's that's kind of what I'm talking about in this topic. Like, you know, I just want you to be weary of, like, when you're focusing on this and this and that, you know, and you just have a plan of how you want things to go. Don't never get too out of position to where you can't cover or help on the backside, you know, because we're often attacked from the back, you know what I'm saying, from the back door cut, from the back door. You know, someone breaking your home or coming to your home, they probably gonna come through the back door or they come, you know, trying to stay out the light. You know how things go, you know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is be weary, you know, to make sure you check on your home, to check on, just check on the mindset of people. You know what I'm saying? And even don't overlook your kids, don't overlook your friends, you know, your family, you know, because I'm guilty of it, you know what I'm saying, in a in many ways, you know, of, of the same thing. You know, you get so caught up in life to where you forget to check on check on things, you know what I'm saying? Not like check on it, but like the mindset. And while you're busy on what you're doing, the devil can come right through the back door, you know what I'm saying, and implant bad spirits and seeds, you know what I'm saying, and you don't know how the next person is taking it. You know, you thinking things are good, but you never really know if you don't ask. You know what I'm saying? All you can ask for is to have understanding. You know, but be very weary of those backdoor situations. You know what I'm saying? The things that can creep in while you're not looking, while you're asleep. While you're asleep, the devil is not asleep. You know, he's up. You know, as the Bible says, seeking whom he may destroy, you know, and it starts in the mind. It, it's all a mind thing, you know what I'm saying? And the more I learn and the more I just analyze things, it's a, it starts in the mind, like, every day. It's all in the mind, you know? And I just want you to know that I want you to put a guard up over those things, you know what I'm saying? Put a guard over it. It's just over our minds, over your mind. The next time, you know, you have a situation to where you feel like things were kind of overlooked, you guard your mind. But I also know that the devil can always creep in when you least expect it, at your highest of the high and at your lowest of the low. So, you know, just prepare yourself properly, you know, and learn from the situation. And don't get lax later on when time has went by, knowing that things can always reappear, you know. So I just wanted to give you guys a word of encouragement and things I was thinking about, you know, and applying to my own life as well, even more, you know, to try to get to where I want to be. So I was just informing you guys, you know, to also be weary of it, you know what I'm saying? Check on what's going on in your own house. Check on what's going on in, in in your kid's life. You know what I'm saying? Your family life. And we just, we're going to keep it moving and know that God is in control. Until next time, stay tuned for more from One the Son, the Inspiration and Podcast. And remember, you can be anyone you want to be. But I always remember, be yourself. And you got a work to do.